Hey everyone, a bit of a different kind of video for you today. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about a different kind of strategy for holding uh, tea room on Skyscraper. In particular, I'll be talking up? about Geisha Room, as I'm sure everyone knows is the major point of contention on this map. I personally don't really see much variation in how teams choose to hold Geisha. Usually it's just a bandit tricking the outside wall to maintain control, but the moment he loses that wall, Geisha will just be taken by the attackers. This strategy doesn't require anyone to be in Geisha and can hold it from the safety of the tea room, allowing more roaming potential from another operator. Now all you really need for this is two operators in particular and can change the strategy around as you see fit with the rest of the team. The two operators in particular are Castle and Mirror, and I'll quickly run through each of their gadget placements, which aren't all that complicated. So firstly we'll talk about Mirror, as she probably has the most to do. You'll start by reinforcing these two walls, and place your mirrors on the far right and far left of each respective reinforcement. At the moment I don't really need to do anything, I'm just like going to a setup at the moment. After that, you will use your secondary shotgun, as I'm sure most people use, to start blowing out sightlines into Geisha Room. Whenever I play Mirror with this strat, I try and open up as many of the walls at just a head level as I can, so even if an attacker does make it inside, I'll be able to see them wherever they are. Work off the head. Like on, on skyscraper. So as you can see, from these mirrors you can see all through Geisha Room, so if any attackers push into Geisha, or try holding an angle from the window, you can either challenge them, or more importantly, have valuable information on them. And from the other mirror you can see into Drum Room, and also Kitchen Stairs, and a bit into Geisha. This wall needs to be reinforced, but that's part of Castle's job, so let's talk about him. Castle's job is pretty simple. You want to reinforce that wall into karaoke that I indicated before, as well as the outside wall of Geisha. This forces the enemy team to use resources to enter Geisha, if they don't want to go in via the window. After that, you will castle off the two doorways leading into Geisha. Your third castle can go on the doorway from drum to hallway, or doorway from drum to garden room. So here's what it looks like from the attacker's perspective. As you can see, there's nowhere really to hide, and this door would also be castled, so there is no way through Geisha Room. I could hold an angle on the side of the mirror, but that probably won't end well for an attacker. With Castle, you can either choose to try and hold down Drum Room, or Roam to try and maintain control of the lower floor. If you find yourself needing to retake the karaoke site, which in my opinion is the weak point in this strategy, you have a couple of different options by having this kind of control over Geisha. With Geisha being open like this, you or your American challenge anyone that may be in Geisha, or on the window. One option for retaking the site is by using an impact grenade on the drum side of Geisha. You can then pull down one of your castles and impact the karaoke wall, potentially surprising anyone who may be inside, and either you or a teammate pushing from the other side may get a kill. A second option for either Castle or a teammate is to use the same first impact hole to get into Geisha, and from there, provided there isn't a well-placed claim wall there, you will run out from the Geisha window in order to potentially get a kill on an attacker that may be outside the karaoke window. In this game, my team and I run a variation of this strat, as earlier in the game we lost control of Geisha Room quite decisively in our first tier room defence. The next time we defended tier room, we held it with this strat, which seemed to take the enemy by surprise, as they didn't know how to deal with it. And that's it! Give the strat a try in your next skyscraper game, and let me know how you go, or if you have any other ideas for defending this objective. The next video out will be a bit of a channel update, so it will just be a short one to let you guys know how things are developing. Until next time, good luck and have fun! Okay, I'm gonna try and help Jaeger roam.
One coming through delivery, yep. Just watch your, watch your back. Haha, oh, jammers work! Wait, I'm always missing jammer then. They're droning. I was sitting right on top of it, like that. Yeah, watch that card, man. So they come up by me. You don't need a PK, just watch that. Watch, it. watch that door. Watch that door. Definitely one outside that way. Banted, um, banted, karaoke. Hey, Jaeger, are you still in kitchen? Jaeger, no. What are they... They're feeling? <laughs> Where are those ash shots coming from? You really, you really uh, I got one out here. Not Ash, but like, someone. I got no, a banner. No one's in danger. No one's in danger. Which stairs? What, north stairs? I'm here. Ash is dead. Okay, sure. Can I get this kill, please? I will spectate. Down to 15 seconds. 10 seconds left. 5 seconds left. Oh, oh yeah, what boy. See, I actually don't mind that strat, just giving them Geisha and just yeah. castling it all off so that they can't g actually get through. Yeah, but that's what yeah, I mean, like, th they were... That's what I mean, they were all over the map, like, they weren't cohesive at all.